Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I am so excited. I've been waiting for this one. Tonight I am going to build gingerbread houses with my boyfriend. He's actually building a gingerbread target, which you guys will see in just a minute. We're gonna have a little friendly competition because that is the only way I know how to go about things. And I can't wait because I know I'm going to kill it. I also found this little like couples drinking game on Amazon. So I picked that up. We're going to play it. It's like a little question card game. And I'm also going to make some festive cocktails. They sound really good. So fingers crossed they're actually delicious. But before I get a little bit too hammered and forget to give you guys the book review of the day, I have to talk about this one because it is one of my favorites that I've read so far. This was easily a five star read for me. I'm kind of obsessed with it and I want all of you guys to go out and read it especially those of you that enjoyed people we meet on vacation by emily henry this is the same sort of plot where it kind of goes back and forth between the past and the present over like 10 years of traveling with someone the main difference between this book and emily henry's is of course this one is christmasy but they're not actually traveling partners they don't go on vacations together necessarily they're just kind of flight buddies they meet up and they do the same flight home to their families for christmas every single year it's really freaking cute and on their last trip they actually get stuck in a snowstorm and all their flights back home to christmas are canceled so molly the main character is determined to get andrew back home to his family because christmas is a very very big deal so they're traveling from chicago all the way to Ireland and the journey that these two have to go on to get home is absolutely nuts. It's such a fun story and these two characters I'm obsessed with them. I honestly prefer them to the characters in People We Be On Vacation. Not that we necessarily need to compare but just gonna say I loved that book but I love this one even more, which is saying a lot. So yeah, this is in my top Christmas book recommendations so far, and I really recommend this one. Just gave me like a feel good vibe. I love friends to lovers. And on that note, let's make some cocktails. So I found this recipe on Pinterest, of course. Also, we get to use these cute little cups. I got these last year from Crate and Barrel. I got a little snowman, little candy canes. Of course, the recipe's like eight miles down. I know, right? It's a bunch of like, it's like their life story, a bunch of ads, and then the recipe. Yeah. Ever since I was a young girl, I've always wanted to make a Christmas cocktail. <laughs> In the summer of 2005, yes. They always go off. So we have cranberry juice, orange juice, and ginger ale. I did not buy maraschino cherry juice because I couldn't find it. We were supposed to get rosemary sprigs, but I made a cocktail with those last year and I hated it. So I did not do that. I left that out. And I really wanted to get cranberries for it, but forgot. So I do have pomegranates. Pomegranate gems. That's which, way better than cranberries. Yeah, these I love. I don't ever actually eat the cranberries. They just kind of float around I don't, around don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> so I think we should eyeball it. It looks like everything's pretty much like, like one to one. So like a shot of vodka, a shot of orange. Yeah. Two shots of vodka. Are we just gonna take turns pouring? <laughs> yeah. All right, you do cranberry. Oh no. You need help? No, it's just slippery. Oh, All there right. you go. I was about to embarrass myself on camera. You will in a few. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Fill her up, all the way up. It's so pretty, it's like a sunset. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's actually really pretty. That is a beautiful beverage. I have to take a sip. I poured it way too much. Oh, I wasn't really expecting anything because we didn't mix it. It's actually pretty strong. It's good. That's good. Okay, so I got this crazy gingerbread house. This was actually sent to me in PR by Cleo Snacks. They make like those yogurt, uh, they're like Greek yogurt bars. They're really, really good. I got this from Target. It's a Target. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really cute. It has the cart and everything. Yeah, the little cart. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if it comes with the dog, but the dog is present. Oh, it does come with the dog, the bullseye. Oh my god. And a shopping cart. Okay. It smells yummy. Oh god. This is already overwhelming. 
Oh, yours is huge. Mine's so compact. Oh my god. Bullseye, shopping cart. That is boba. so cute. Come here, boba. Hey, buddy. Okay. All right, let's get down. Come on. How does mine have a squeezy? Oh. Yeah. It's not target. This looks like. Boom. Target. 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 That is really cute. Okay. Check that out. Okay, I'm gonna open up this game. It's called Dizzy Date, the drinking game for couples. We're gonna see what's in store. First one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it says suck your partner's toes or finish your drink. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Finish your drink. <laughs> no. This game is far naughtier than I thought it was going to be. You bought it. Yeah, but I didn't think. Oh my God, they're crazy. I can't do this on YouTube. Okay. Remove an item of clothing or drink twice. You pulled that card, that's you, not me. No, I read it. Yeah, to, for yourself. You drew the card, you're doing it. Okay, I'm taking my slippers off. <laughs> okay, on the little preview on Amazon, it wasn't like that dirty. They were like funny couple questions. Confess your partner's worst personality trait. Okay. <laughs> I'll just drink twice. Oh, five star your partner's butt or both drink. What, what is Let me smack it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Progress right here. Right here, we have a roof, we have windows. We right now, as of right now, we have a very basic target. We have like a target that's not Christmassy. It's just a target right now. That's so we've made, target. we've made the base. Now we need to decorate it for Christmas. Describe what you love about your partner or drink. I love that you're patient and understanding and very kind. I've never heard that before. Yes, you have. No, I have. Describe what you want to do to your partner after playing or drink. After this, I want to go watch Marriage at First Sight. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> so badly. It's getting spicy. Describe your first date or drink. Then our first date was the one where we got a hot chocolate. Didn't we get it from the gas station or something? Yeah, gas station. It was really good. It actually. was good and it was so hot. We were sitting in the car hanging out. This was in, oh shit. <laughs> we were in high school. Oh, it is everywhere. Okay, we gotta get the vacuum after this. My house is not gonna survive you guys. It's not happening. My target is ready to accept customers. <laughs> oh, anyways. We got gas station hot chocolate. It was really hot. We were sitting in the car. So I put my hot chocolate outside to cool off. And then we went to like a neighborhood <laughs> playground. And it was really fucking cold. Like really, really cold. cold. And we were like hiding in this playground and just chatting. High school dates for you. Mine looks so look well. Look at this. Yours looks fabulous. Look at this. It is so good. That is the yeah. best gingerbread house I've ever freaking made. And I'm actually not officially done. Sprinkle time. Sprinkle time. Hugo. Boom. 
Boom! That's freaking crazy. Dude, mine came out so good. Yeah, for I like, love it. For, for what I'm capable of. It came out, this is, this is honestly the, the best I've ever done. Ever. You know what we should do? Hmm. We should do a shot. The tarts. <laughs> okay, pour them. Speedy. Speedy was just sniffing it. Look, she's saying hi to the camera. Hi, baby. Here's Speedy. You wanna see my target? That's my target. Drink if you've ever been on a double date. Guilty! Ready? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Kinda of tastes like nail polish. When you hold your nose, like I could do another one. Like I'm you not want a to? Weenie. I think I won. Yeah, I think so too. I've never won before. I'm I've, having a really tough time. I've never won this in, in our like, how many Christmases together? <laughs> Nine. Nine Christmases. I think this is my first time that I've done better than you. <laughs> and you, you always kick my ass, but we never record it. I know. And the one time we record it, I do it. Okay job, and it's just it's just enough to beat you. Mine is an actual disaster. I feel like yours is gonna go to the track. Oh, immediately. Hello, everybody. <laughs> there we go, I got it this time, right? I have sprinkles in my hair. Okay, are you ready for yeah. my reveal? I'm getting the Grey Goose. For a shot? Yeah, for the celebratory shot that we finished. Okay. It doesn't be a full shot. Let me explain. Is it focused, you think? I honestly, I can't tell if it's focused or not because my eyes aren't even in focus. So I really had high hopes and I decided to use Hugo's leftover. <laughs> His leftover items. And I don't <laughs> Okay, so here's mine. <laughs> put it down, put it down, put it down. I, I don't have words for that. Should we do my reveal? Yeah, Hugo, I have to say he really killed this one. Ta-da! Hold it up. H Hugo. I love the Target balls. Stunning. Here, I'll get a close up shot. Uh, yeah, get a close up, because it's like, there's multiple items, so I can't really hold it there's up. There's layers. And the foundation's kind of broken. Okay, so here's Hugo's little Target. He has his little, Target badge. We have the cart. It is so cute. The little outdoor balls. So we have bullseye. I'm so impressed. It's stunning. Look at this architecture. Look at this. <laughs> Mine's ready for Black Friday and yours is ready to. Mine collapse. mine has black mold. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. My eyes are glazing over. I'm gonna eat this gingerbread house in the privacy of my own home. And we're gonna finish this episode with a shot. I encourage you all to join us and go. You are a weenie. I'm not gonna die that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Smooches. <laughs>